what's going on guys welcome back to the garage so yesterday i did a video and i go in there this morning to upload it and the video is gone so i'm back out here doing it again and the boys over here riding this four wheeler but just gonna give you a little update video um totally just lost my train of thought um update video let's see okay so tractor's back apart the boys tractor and the engine's sitting right here uh this engine was going to be a good 25 horsepower but it ended up having a crap ton of water sitting in it because it's set outside on a lawnmower for several years so the only good thing in that's probably the crank because the block needs at least 20 over uh the pistons well the rods let me show you those i think somebody tried to crank it over and i don't know if you can tell but that rod is bent uh the cylinder heads this one this valve is stuck open because all the rust it could probably be cleaned up fairly easy and then just resurface it and whatnot but i'm not even going to mess with it i'll just part it out uh the push rods are junk they're just covered in rust, but the cam ain't too bad. It's got a little surface rust there, but it could clean up. But you're probably wondering why this motor is out. Um, we are going to totally do redo everything. So I've decided to try to sell the single and recoup some funds on that to fund the diesel project that may take us 20 years to get done but we'll get there and then i'm going to take the v-twin out of the wheel horse put it in the boys tractor and then just sell the uh wheel horse as a roller just throw a motor in it and go for the next guy but that's the plans as of now um i actually need to take that motor apart and probably throw new rings in it because last year or well since it's been in my presence the rings are probably shot in and i'm sure there's no cross hatch but it smokes a little bit at, when you give it a little gas nothing major still runs all right but uh, that's the plan so far and then like i said once i get that engine sold i will put that money toward the rebuild kit for the diesel so that'll be a fun little project and like everything else i'll take you along putting that v-twin in there i have a k-series um billet hub i don't know where yeah here it is a k-series billet clutch hub but it will not fit the stock flywheel on a v-twin so i'm probably going to have this milled out take it to the machinist that way I can do that because right now this is kind of old lawnmower and that'll bolt right to the v twin and all i gotta do is set it down and lower it into the frame but um that's the plan as of right now so i just want to give you guys a little update and it's kind of i don't really want to get rid of it because i've had this thing for a long time that's what i learned on everything but time for upgrades so you know singles are kind of eh you can dump a lot of money into them and still not be where a good v-twin will be so i think it's time to bump up the game a little bit right bud he likes the v-twin so that's the plan for this tractor uh, i've already got it got the engine cradle sitting over there you don't need all that uh got it all stripped out i gotta pull the coil off since obviously the v-twin is has its own ignition but the other issue is putting it in this i not only have to lower it down below the frame rails so i have to cut the bottom out and reinforce it down there but the oil filter will hit the side so i gotta figure out if i want to do an oil filter relocation kit or just save the money and cut the frame but i don't really want to hack on the frame but it is what it is so um yeah that's about it so if you guys need a single 
uh, cylinder, uh, hit me up and I can give you a, a rundown what all's done to it. It's nothing major, but it's a good running engine. So that's it. Just a little update, uh, see where we've been and what we're doing. So we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.